Now, two of the most closely watched Bay Area races will decide the future of leadership in Oakland and San Francisco. One is a mayor's race, the other is a recall election. Today in the base, Ginger Connor Harris Saab joins us live in San Francisco this morning. And here we have it this last minute push from uh, five candidates. It's all coming down to the wire in San Francisco. That's right, Laura, and that's really something that you can see and feel uh, on the streets of San Francisco. There is engagement from the people here, people campaigning, holding up signs at major intersections, for example, during the morning commute. There are also uh, just a plethora of signs on people's homes in the different neighborhoods. You can see who they are supporting. You can really feel that spirit of it. But with San Francisco's ranked choice voting, Laura, it can be anyone's game. Now, there are four contested, four candidates that are vying for Mayor London Breed's seat. They have debated, they have campaigned, and they have made their case for months now. Supervisor Asha Safayi was the first to throw his name in the race. Philanthropist Daniel Lurie, Board of Supervisors President Aaron Peskin, and former Supervisor and Interim Mayor Mark Farrell rounding up the top five candidates for San Francisco Mayor. Breed's challengers have run on a campaign of change for the city, focusing on turning around the city's issues surrounding crime, homelessness, encampments and open air drug use. The incumbent mayor has made a case that she has laid the groundwork for revitalizing a comeback for the city. Now, Mark Farrell hit with a historic campaign ethics fine on the eve of Election Day. Farrell is agreeing to pay $108,000. It comes after he illegally funded his candidacy through a committee he created for a separate purpose. Now, Farrell says the settlement was over a, quote, accounting error that we corrected and publicly disclosed months ago. Now, San Francisco uses ranked choice voting, and under ranked choice, voters rank the candidates 1 through 10, with 1 being their first choice. If a candidate gets more than half the votes after the first choices are tallied, then we have a winner and the election is over. But if no one gets a majority, the candidate with the least number of votes is eliminated, and their supporter's second choice vote is now tallied. That process continues until one candidate wins the majority of the vote. It was through ranked choice voting that Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao was elected as Oakland's mayor two years ago. Today, she faces a recall vote, along with Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price. If Tao is recalled, a special election will be held within four months to elect a new mayor for Oakland. And as for DA Pamela Price, if she's recalled, the Alameda County Supervisors will appoint an interim DA to serve until 2026. Then another DA would need to serve the rest of Price's term, which runs through 2028. Now, there are further complexities to consider if Mayor Tao and D.A. Price are recalled. But the first step at least happens today, Laura, both for Oakland voters and San Francisco voters. We will have to watch and wait to see what they have to say. In San Francisco, Ginger Conajero-Sab, today in the Bay. Very big day in the Bay Area. Thanks, Ginger.